So that's how it's working. And now we can build our admin pages in peace. All right, let's build up our dashboard page. So we're going to, there is a lot of comments, but hopefully they will be useful for some people. But we're going to focus on this dashboard page now. And this is going to be get and then, oh, this is going to be admin dashboard. So get. For the admin dashboard, we can do exactly the same thing that we've done on the home page. So this is going to be a very easy page to do. You do need to be logged in to view it, but if you don't want the login, just remove this and you'll be fine. So let's do a try catch. And then inside here, we're going to do a simple query. So const data equals await, and we're getting the post dot find, and we're finding everything. That's it. And now in all rest.render, which is right here, I'm going to move and then I'm going to do, we are rendering the admin page dashboard, but we want to render some of the data. And if you wish, you can change the title as well. We can do the locals as usual dashboard like so and then we can pass in here so locals we pass and then we pass the data from the database and now we can literally uh, do the same thing as the home page and display the data so if we go to that dashboard page under views admin dashboard then we can start building it uh, this is going to be a fairly simple one so let's build it super quickly let's do a div with the class name of admin title and this is going to have an H2 and it's just going to say posts. That's it. And then I'm going to add the link, a href, and this is going to be add post, which we're going to build in a second with the class name of button. In fact, I don't even know if we have this class name anymore, but that's fine. Let's just put add new. It might be just BTN instead. We'll see in a second. Let's go back. Make sure that you log in. Uh, ready. Password, cool. Okay, that's actually looking good. Wanna zoom out, it is at least. And then we can do an unordered list with the class name of admin post. And inside here, we can do a for each with EJS each, and then we're gonna do data, post, and now we can loop through all the posts. And what I'm gonna do is loop through, um, create the list. And inside the list, we're going to have a link. So a href, and this link is going to be going to the actual post if you want to see it. So I'm going to do post, and then we're going to do EJS out, and then post dot underscore ID to grab the ID so we can visit them. And for this, I'm going to say, I'm going to close it and put the title. So in this case, EJS out, and then post dot title. And then I'm going to add a little character icon just so it says that you're leaving this page. So I'm going to do ampersand N E R R R. And this is going to do a little icon for us. Let's have a look. Here it is. We're getting all the blog posts with this icon. Think I might have messed up the CSS because it doesn't seem to be working. Admin post. And then I'm going to do controls. So after the link here, let's do a div with the class name of admin dash, dash post controls and then inside here i'm going to have the edit button a href and it's going to be edit page post which we're going to create shortly ejs this is going to be equals and then we're going to do post underscore dot post dot underscore id close this make sure that you add a class name of btn so it looks a little bit better and i'm going to put edit that's it and then for the delete we're going to do a form so form action and this action is going to be delete post and then we're going to do ejs data dot id the post that we want to delete and then i'm going to show you how we can do a method delete in a second so i'm going to do question mark underscore method method equals delete and then this is going to be a method of post. We will override this in a second. And then inside the form, I'm going to do a button. This is going to be input. And then this input is going to have the type of submit. And then we're going to have the value of delete. 
and the class name of btn. That's it. I think that should be good enough. All right, the styles are not working, and I believe that this is because I've misspelled post. Admin post, it should be instead of post. Okay, that's a little bit better. There is no pagination, but you know how to build that now. So I'm going to leave it. And now we need to build the add new page. If we look super quickly here, the add new page, add new blog post here, it's just going to a route with add dash post. So let's create this route. So we're going to go to admin. So route admin, and we can create it somewhere. Let's study things up a little bit. We need to catch this error as well. Console.log. All right, let's copy this and let's create a new route. So this route is going to be get, and this one is going to be admin create new post. Cool. Let's copy this route super quickly, paste it, and let's start. So route.get, and then instead of dashboard, we're going to do at dash post. We're going to have the middleware in here to check whether you're logged in or not. The title is going to be add post, and then I'm going to leave the description as it is. Then the render page is going to be add dash post, which we're going to create. And then I'm going to do locus only, and we need to set a layout, by the way. I didn't set the layout for the dashboard. Let's have a look. Yeah, the dashboard for the layout is the home page, so we need to change that as well. Sorry about that. So we're going to do layout. For the dashboard here, we need to paste in here, put a comma, and we need to paste it in here. Make sure you have a comma and we're good to go. All right, refresh. And now we have the admin panel. Okay, that's all good. We've done this route. We also need to create the page. So add post. If we go to if you go to views admin, we can create a new page. Add dash post dot ejs. And then all we need to do is build a very basic form. I'm going to do a link first of all, a href, so we can go back to the dashboard. And then this is going to be ampersand L A R R. And this is going to create an arrow. And then we're going to have back. And now let's add the title. So admin title. And then inside here, I'm going to do an H2. And this is going to be add new post just like so and now let's do a simple form so the form here is going to have the action of add post because we want to post data and then this is going to have the method post like so and inside the form we're going to have the title and the content so let's do a label this label is going to be for the title so let's do the title And now let's do an input. And then this input is going to be text. Placeholder is going to be enter post title or just post title will do. And then the name, which is very important, is going to be the title. This is how we're going to pass the data. And now I can actually copy this, potentially paste in here. So this is going to be for the content or body. Let's call it body. And I'm going to call it content. So this is the blog post basically. And so this needs to be this, the name needs to be body, but this is an input and we don't want an input. We want a text area for this. So we're going to do text area. The name is going to be body. The ID doesn't really matter in this case. We're going to have a rows of 10, maybe, sorry, calls of 50 and then rows of 10 will be absolutely fine. And the last thing that we need to do is an input. A button in this case so this is going to be submit and then we're going to do a value of add and a class of btn save this and let's have a look how it looks refresh click on add new and now we get in add new post and now we can start submitting data now when we submit data we obviously want to handle this and save it into the database let's do that so this is going to be add post and this is going to be a post method so under admin here we can create another one instead of get this time we can create a post one so what we're going to do let's copy this one more time just easier we're going to change this to post very important and then create new post that's fine and then instead of router.get we're going to do post and then we're going to do add post is fine we have the middleware to check whether we are logged in 
we don't really need this now and now we can get the content so to get the content it's very similar to what we've done before you can do console.log and then you can do the rec.body to see all of the information in the console if you wish to we'll see this in a second and now let's remove all that let's remove in fact let's remove this let's remove everything let's do a redirect let's do rest.redirect when we add data we want to redirect to the dashboard save this if i go back if i refresh everything is working i'm going to put rat and then this is my content add it and let's see obviously nothing is inserted into the database but if we look at the console we're getting title of rat and the body of this is my content which is great now we can insert this into the database to do this we can do try catch and then inside the try so we can do const new post and then we're going to do new post like so and inside here we can organize all fields so we're going to do title and then we're going to get the request dot body which is this one here that i just showed you and then we can get the title from the input the same with the body and you can add whatever you wish a slug an image whatever so title body let's copy this here and actually that might be it yeah that's it and now we can insert this new post into the database by doing await post dot create and then we put the data inside here and it's as simple as that and then we're doing the rest redirect just straight away after it like so let me tidy things up and then we can do console dot log error something like that we'll do save this remove the console log from here and now let's see whether we can save our post so this post is going to be called ready testing one two three and let's add as you can see, we're getting ready here. You can always change the query like I showed you in the home page. But if I click on it, then it doesn't seem to be working because it looks like I've put an extra character in front of the link. Let me have a look. So add post. No, this is going to be the dashboard page. So on the dashboard, EJS, yep. So I've added this extra character when I was writing the EJS. That's cool. Let's go back, refresh, and let's click on ready. And you'll see the blog post here, testing one, two, three, which is the original blog post. But what I want to do now is I want to be able to delete it and edit it. 